At a high level, what MDM solves for is it breaks down data silos that naturally evolve over time within large organizations. What we see is that within any organization, there's functional specificity around how those organizations work. Finance works to fulfill finance workflows. Customer service works to support customer service workflows and on and on. And over time, as business applications are built and created to support those functions like CRM or ERP or digital marketing platforms, it's natural to see the data in those systems that is widely shared data like customer data to kind of naturally evolve to best fit the purpose for which is being used within that workflow, whether that's finance or accounting. So what we'll see is, is that customer data, although the customer be, may be conceptually the same customer, the way it's represented is slightly different across all of those systems. What MDM does is it can help to break those silos to have a single consistent, accurate, trustworthy view of that data, a single version of the truth of that customer data by pulling data out of all of those systems and creating more of a record that can be used as an enterprise-wide record that can be used uh, to, to help data flow better <laughs> and more efficiently through those various systems. So the problem that MDM solves is often one of data quality where the data is inconsistent across systems. It's often one of operational efficiency where today you may have a swivel chair that takes contract data out of a CRM and enters it into an MDM, enters it into an ERP system. So MDM can allow for a workflow and process automation. It can allow for better decision making because if your CEO asks, hey, can I have a full report on this customer? The data for that customer could be represented in different ways, in different structures, in different formats. And the CEO will ask, well, this is data, it's different from here to here. Can I really, really trust this data? So from an analytical perspective, it can provide confidence and accuracy in decision making that is harder and certainly more time consuming to create if MDM wasn't there in the first place. So by breaking these silos, by allowing for the management of business rules, aka governance policies that allow you to create consistent and trusted views and uses of this data of the, across the organization, MDM allows for analytical insights, better decision making, automation of business processes, and it allows for, frankly, better decision making within the C-suite.